So yesterday, no, let's listen. Three months ago, Joe Biden, Joe Biden decides to do. I mean, campaign starts. You know, they start getting ready, and Joe Biden does the camp, uh, the, the debate live debate with Donald Trump. And when he does, it's a complete failure. Can't find his words, feels slow. Like he feels less sharp. And Trump eats him. He swallows him during that debate. And I guess at that moment, I think the Democrats in the US um, just, they lost sense of reality. And they started doing, uh, go in panic mode and they did the 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 mistake was done here and i listen i would even believe that the mistake was done even before that turn this camera right all right i believe that merci fatou fulani what up Listen, I believe that Joe Biden, when he got elected, when he beat Trump in 2020, he said something that maybe some of you don't remember. He said, I'm just here as a transition leader i'm just here for one term i've been in politics for the last 45 50 years i'm already in my late 70s i'm just staying here for four years just to beat that guy once it's he's beaten I'm gonna go and let somebody take the helm for the Democratic Party. I don't know if you remember when he said that. If you do remember when he said that, put some stars in the chat. All right. So he says that and you know, well, thank you, Jean-C. You know, in Ivory Coast, there was a general called General Gay. And it was turmoil in Ivory Coast. And he came as a transition leader. He said, yo, I'm just here to put the country back on track. And then I'll be on my way because it's democracy and I'm the army. I'm here to serve the country. And then he got in power. The French came, put a bunch of money, that soupoudre money on his face. Oh Lord, it's raining money. His wife started saying, yo, we are rich. Feels great. And then French started coming and say, yo, listen, we need this, we need that. I forgot his name, I forgot his name, Jesse, sorry. And then he, yeah, you know, corruption, power, that feeling that, you know, you can, 
you, 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 you're bigger than life. You run a country, you run people. And you know, people don't realize what it does to a man. Men are weak. And when I say men, I said humans. Power make people weak because it corrupts people. And then when it was time to transition and give back the power, he didn't want to give the power. And that's how he got removed. And I believe that Biden, once he got president of the US, and he said, um, I'm just here for four years. Because listen, he was the vice president of Obama. He's been there already doing things. You know, being there with Obama, Obama was a, was a superstar. And Biden was there as a vice president. They did a lot of things, took, took, took um, uh, Osama out, did that, did this. Like They were there. And people actually loved that duo. So they were quite popular especially outside the US. But then when you become president, you are like, there you are like, you are the leader of the free world. And well, listen, I don't know if he start liking it or if it got in his head or if the hubris made him believe that he was the only one that could beat Trump again. But this is not where he set his party to failure. I'm going to tell you exactly when he set his Democratic Party to failure. It was when he said, I'm running for president and my vice president will be a woman. This is when he failed the Democratic Party. And listen, it's not because it was a woman. It is because he didn't say, I'm going to choose a vice president that is the right person for the job. Do you get it? He didn't say, I want a vice president that is the right person for the job. He said, I'm going to give you a woman. That's not what up. That's when he failed because you don't choose people because they are women, because they're black, Indian, Chinese, etc., etc., gay, what? No. You choose people because they are the right person for the job. They chose Biden because he's been in politics his whole life. When Obama came to pick him, he was young and he needed somebody experienced to be his sidekick and to give him good advice and guidance when he was about to take decisions as a president. So he chose him because he needed an adult in the room with him. So he chose him for the quality of his politics, the experience, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When you say, I'm choosing somebody because she's a woman, you lost already. Or if you say, I'm going to choose somebody because he's black, you lost already. If you say, ah, oh, because he's Chinese, because he's, he's a dwarf, because he's gay, 
listen, you lose already. You have to say, I'm going to choose the best person for the job. But because somehow it feels like the Democrats in the US are completely obsessed with identity politics, they wanted to please people. They wanted to to choose people per a person so they could please their the base and, and yeah, let's put a woman. All right, listen. Let's say you decide to pick a woman. There was a lot of women to pick from. You could choose Tulsi. You could choose. There was a bunch of them that really were good in the points that they were making. And but you decide to just pick somebody for identity politics. And I believe that this is when he doomed what happened yesterday. It's not because, hey, listen, people might be sexist and, 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 and patriarchy, etc. Like, listen, there might be a one person of that, but I don't believe it's that. It's because he chose the wrong person. He chose the wrong person because she was not qualified. She was not good enough for the job. That's it. And he probably picked her. And listen, you might even see some racism in there because he might have chose somebody just because she was a woman black at that but at the same time yeah you happy now now let me do my job yo sit on the side so if you choose listen if i decide look at this show if i decide that i'm gonna do this show and I'm gonna, in four years, I'm gonna give this ch this, show, this whole show to somebody else, right? If I say that, I'm gonna give this show to somebody else, then in the next four years, maybe every three episodes, you're gonna see that new person or maybe the people that I'm testing, I'm gonna start giving them time to be here, do shows for you to familiarize yourself with the person. I'm not going to be there keeping all the shine for me and having that person just be my assistant, serve me coffee. I'm going to make sure that my, my, um, my succession, I'll make you I make shows with the person, we make shows together, et cetera, et cetera. Sometimes I'm not doing the show, that person shows up and then at a point I'm doing less and less shows, that person is doing more and more shows and then at a point, boom, the person is here. Now, if, if I don't do this and I tell you, yo, listen, in four years, this show will be presented by mounted of inspiration but in the next four years i never put mountain of inspiration in the spot in the spotlight and in four years when it's time to give out the thing i tell you yo, I'm, I'm running for another four years maybe before the end of the four years i'm telling you yo um i'm I'm give I'm yeah and I'm good I'm good I'm, I'm I can continue that's the second mistake because actually you don't want to give the job to the next person in reality because you want to cling on to the job and you believe that the person is not good enough to run after you and that's how you set the person for failure because once he fucked it up in the 
the debate, that's exactly the moment when all of a sudden everybody starts scrambling and they were like, yo, come on, come on, let's go, come on, come on. And poof. And she only had three months to, to become, you see what I mean? It's, she only had three months to, to print, to, 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 to connect with the people. Cause we saw her in the beginning. And then after that, she disappeared. So, and the media, the media didn't like her. They didn't push her. They, and all of a sudden, everybody changed. The media just got crazy, like telling everybody how perfect she was when she never had the time to show who she was and even be herself. And, and she arrived with coming out of a, a, an administration with her name on it. And she had to say, no, me, I'm going to do this. Um, and no, I'm, 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 I'm going to be different than him. And, and when people were asking her, because she had like 90% of the media with her in the US. So softball questions that were like, yo, listen, if you're saying you're bringing something different, like, listen, when did you understand that Joe was not was not was on mental decline oh listen joe is perfect joe is amazing joe da 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 okay so why are you here you, you don't have the answer listen these people set her up for failure listen either she thought she could do it and she was not ready or they just put it in front of her and they told her don't worry we got you and in both, both, she was not ready. Listen, she has capabilities. She's been in politics for a long time. She's been a DA, she's done things. Listen, all this is not the same as running a country and saying what you have to say, especially when you are with a ma in front of a, the master troller, the somebody who is a superstar for his people and that people Listen, like it or love it, some people that half of your country love. You have to be ready to, to talk to him either uh, and to talk about policies and to be able to explain your policies to people or to be able to tell the people who are suffering, this is what I'm going to do for you to stop suffering. And she has not been able to do it. She keep repeating the same things. She knows how to, to, to read from the prompter, but when it's time to just venture out of that, she was just like, <laughs> she was like circling and not really responding to the questions. And this was not working. It was not working. And I had my conversation with my friend three three months ago, and my friend told me, and my friend, listen, is a guy super left. He told me um, she will not win because she's a woman and she's black. I was like, that's it? What about the policies? What are, he was like, ah, all these doesn't matter. In the US, she cannot win being all that. And me, I was like, listen, maybe you're right, but if, if she can impact people in three months, I know that's not a lot, that's, listen, this is really a, a hard race, but she has the media with her. Uh, if Joe is, you know, uh, pushing her, etc., eh, she might. And, and listen, she could not, as simple as that, she could not, uh, because not enough time for people to know you and, uh, 
not maybe not trained to speak at that level maybe stress maybe listen i don't know up to them to understand what happened but i believe that the bias of the media the justice system all these things against trump actually somehow made him stronger and i remember that when we did the episode about january 6 four years ago um i was like it's over and look listen you have to respect the rise of the phoenix this guy you have to risk listen it's just like when i talk to you about kanye and i'm going to talk to you in the next episode about kanye uh signing a deal with adidas again and gonna say like listen these guys sometimes get on my nerve with all these antics but when, when you win you win when you win you win so listen you can feel how you want to feel about all this I, I'm not American, I don't vote, I'm French. So ultimately, other than for foreign affairs, I actually don't care who wins. I'm just giving a non-emotional opinion about what happened. Exit polls, people said they care about economy. 40% of the Americans, they care about. I want to understand why I trying to survive in this country and the money is not enough right and you're sending billions to ukraine and israel that's what people care about after that the second thing was probably immigration illegal immigration because that was the subject that connected with people and then third thing was women's women's right so sometimes you have to understand that you are going in the direction and it's the wrong direction this happens like it or not sometimes as a party you're going in the wrong direction and you are uh, trying to appeal to a part of society that is and you you don't you don't realize that you are starting to become condescendent to the people who don't agree with you about uh, men in women's sports uh, all the woke rhetoric uh, all the, the 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 rights of of minorities and then uh, being against the majority etc 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 there's a point when the country speaks they, they speak you have to listen and you have to understand okay maybe we did too much here or maybe we believe this is right but it doesn't mean that that is not important it's going to be up to them to understand and next time you want somebody to win an election you do it the right way you tell biden and listen, and Biden, every time he spoke, I was like, this guy doesn't want her to win. <laughs> this guy, this guy hates her. And a, a year before the election start, he should have said, hey, I'm not running. And you organize primaries, primaries, right? You choose who's the right person by doing debates etc etc listen don't forget the last time she did a debate she was bad and and now she was there again because he chose her maybe for the wrong reasons and i'm not saying she's not qualified for whatever she did before that but we're talking about vice president and president of the u.s maybe that you need sometimes to get prepared for that and maybe she was not happens it's not because you're there that you can go there and if he if she had the time to get prepared for that 
then maybe they would do a primary and maybe it wouldn't be her. Maybe there would be other people that would, and maybe there would be one person that would really connect and they would go with that one. And that could be a woman too. That could be another, uh, another black woman if you want, etc. But listen, I don't understand when people tell me, a friend of mine told me, yeah, but I wanted a black woman to be there. I said, listen, when I, when I hire somebody for a job, I don't care if they are from Congo. I want them to be good. Because every time I hire somebody because they are from Congo or because they are my friend or because they are my girlfriend or something, they do a bad job. Because I forgot to ask them, hey, do you know how to record a song? Oh, you don't know? Oh, now I'm wasting time trying to teach you and then you do a bad job because you're slow and then instead of doing the, the studio session in two days, you need 10 days, cost me 2,000 euros instead of 400. And if I choose the right person instead of the person of the right color, it would work. So people maybe should stop being emotional about these things. It's not a question of women or whatever. It's a question of who's good for the job and who is creating an impact in whatever they say to the people who will vote. Because voting, you have to convince people. And he won by probably more than 300 electoral votes and probably more than 5 million votes of, so he won electoral seats plus public, plus gonna take the, the Senate and probably the House. So this is like a, a red sweep. So this means you chose the right, the wrong candidate. Or from the get go, you had the wrong strategy. You've been pissing people off for a long time. You've been uh, uh, insulting people in a long time. You've been uh, condescending with people because they disagree with you for a long time in the media. After COVID, people stop believing in you. All the lies you tell about all these wars around the world, people are not believing, etc., etc. They've been something brewing like for a long time. Like Oriol says, it's not about racism, it's about qualification. And if people decide they prefer a guy that everybody was saying he's he's not he's not fit to be a president he's crazy he says crazy stuff etc cetera, etc cetera. and if they prefer him is because he connected and listen he's been president for four years before um and people feel that they were better before and listen they might they might uh, they might be feeling the wrong things because of the wrong reasons, because maybe whatever. But it's it's, it's just going to be how you how you how you connect with the people and how you make them believe you. And listen, I saw her speak in a few interviews, and she was not connecting. She's not believable. She. It feels like she's just reading stuff. Like it feels like it's not the real her. So, um, it's my feeling. Some people listen. They might have believed her. They might have said, "Yeah, yeah me." I don't know. But again, I'm not voting, so I'm just giving you the opinion as somebody who's looking from outside. The American, they chose. Now listen, when people vote, sometimes they vote wrong. But they vote, that's democracy. That's how it works. So what are we gonna do? Aurel said he pissed us off for years. <laughs> yeah, he was crazy. Aurel said when, he's, when you're not ready and nothing we can do about it. Yeah, listen, she was not ready. Listen, you might, you might be almost ready Listen, I'm going to tell you who 
I believe, and I believe that it was a shock for her, right? Because Hillary Clinton was ready, was qualified, had the experience, was a secretary of, a secretary of state for eight years. And before that, she was the first lady. She was ready. She's been in the White House for long enough. She was ready to be president. That's why it was a shock when he arrived out of nowhere and won the electoral vote. But at least you could see that the people voted for her, right? Because she had the 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 the, the popular popular vote. I think she had almost two two to three million votes on him. He still won because of the way it's set up, but in, in term, terms of Vox Populi, she had more votes, but he had more the right state, so he won he won the election. But maybe he came and because of the brass the brash thing he said were saying what a lot of these people who are who, who feel they're forgotten. They feel when when people who are populists they come and they talk to the people who are, who feel forgotten by the elites. It always works. It works in France with the left, the, the far left, and the far right. We can see it. It works here in Portugal with the, with the far right and the far left too. Uh, the people who say the, the right things to you. You're going to vote for them because the people who have been here and be making, telling you that your life is going to change, it doesn't work. It doesn't work if you see after 10 years that your life still didn't change. You start saying, let me try something else. So, but, but to stay on subject, Hillary was qualified and ready and qualified for real. Not qualified, oh, she did this, she did that. Listen. Not only people knew her, people connected with her, people were ready to have her as a president uh, and as the first woman president, everybody was ready. And then he arrived as an OVNI from nowhere and he killed her dreams. I have to tell you the truth, I don't believe Kamala wanted to do it. I don't believe she wanted to do it. I believe maybe she was warming up to the idea in four years because not yet. And then all of a sudden they're like, yo, <laughs> we can't hide anymore that the guy is, is not well. And all of a sudden you have three months. That was, a, that was, that was not possible. Yeah, well, that's what I believe. <laughs>